an extreme drought over 80% of the territory, summer thunderstorms, and Hurricane Ophelia were behind the wave of forest fires in Portugal in 2017, destroying more than 100,000 hectares of forest and killing more than 100 people. One forest producer lost 12 hectares and his family is one of the 10 who is suing the European Union in court for taking insufficient action to halt the climatic alterations. We rapidly have to find new solutions to deal with the problems that are arising. Europe, namely the EU's institutions, cannot be distant or just treat these problems as minor. They are extremely serious. This is a problem that's not only environmental, but concerns the security of European citizens. The ten families are from six European countries plus Kenya and Fiji and are represented by three lawyers working pro bono in an action to be presented before the European General Court in Luxembourg with expenses paid by German NGO Protect the Planet. The court has actually asked to say these laws are not good enough, they're not legal, to so nullify them to the extent that they allow too many emissions from greenhouse gases to go on until 2030. The other part that what they're asking is in substance the same, but it's called an injunction. You are arguing that you have a damage already, so please don't aggravate that damage. Stop what you're doing. The case accuses the European Council and European Parliament of not doing enough because the existing 2030 climate target is not enough to stop climate change. Some want the European Commission to be more ambitious. It is very important that still this year uh, the European Commission is uh, presenting uh, this long-term plan because the Commission has the right of uh, initiative. If we have good intentions to achieve uh, our goals and our commitments, then uh, I think uh, on the court um, that will give another picture. This is the first time a court case has been brought against the EU body, but there are other cases being brought at a national level in Belgium, Ireland and the Netherlands to name but three.